Welcome into sports. I'm Hallie DeVore. Kentucky football has a bye week this week, but to make up for it, we'll bring you some Kentucky basketball instead. John Calipari and his squad traveled to Northern Kentucky's Truist Arena tonight for the annual blue and white scrimmage. The first real look at Kentucky's team since the Global Jam back in July. And the best part about tonight's game is that Kentucky can't lose. Let's show you the highlights. All right, Kentucky basketball is back and the fans showed up. The blue versus white game benefits went to Eastern Kentucky flood victims and those impacted by the tornadoes in Western Kentucky. Plus, you got to see some good basketball. DJ Wagner and Trey Mitchell, the new guy with the rebound. We saw some new faces, a lot of young faces, and of course, Co Coach Cal back for another year. Here, freshman Reed Shepard out to Hadou, who's back from injury. Another big guy back on the court takes it in and puts up a basket for himself. And you just heard the name we are talking about, Reed Shepard. You'll see him a lot, possibly on the court as a starter. He'll get a couple threes tonight. Rob Dillingham, you just saw with the layup, he had 40 points on the night, the highest score, four assists and seven steals. And again, this is what I meant by Reed Shepard. My mistake puts in a three. Kentucky blue team wins. 100 then to the white to the white team 89 Trey Mitchell signing some autographs after and the players spent time with kids from the Children's Advocacy Center. It was a very cute night. All right, many people were expecting Big Z to play in the scrimmage tonight, but he did not. Here's what Coach Cal had to say about his status. I had every intention and so did Z that he would be playing this weekend, which is why I said what I said, but I think our fans know there's some one thing I care about more than anything else, the players and the players' health. And that's that's what it is with him. But he wanted to play, but we'll be fine. You're going to be the first to see him. But he goes three hard practices, hard, after the ramp up, after a 30-hour flight, after all the tests and needles and everything he had to have. I mean, he was cramping his calves, his, his hamstring, his groin, his knee. I mean, he had everything going, my ankle, and I just said, stop. We could have him for here, and then I'd be a man of my word. Or we could worry about the season. And I'm worried about the season, so. He's a seven foot two guy. Cramps are, are bound to happen. All right, back to football. EKU football, they were three and three on their season coming into today's game, losing their first three games and getting into things, winning their last three tonight. They look to keep that winning streak going as they traveled to Boiling Springs, North Carolina to take on the Garner Webb running Bulldogs. Eastern Kentucky starts things off with a 61 yard run from Braden Sloan all the way down the sideline to put EKU on the board first. Colonel's up 7-0. Next, Parker McKinney, long pass to Jalen Burbage, 18-yarder there to put Kentucky up 14-7. Joshua Carter, another run game, 22-yard run to put their Colonel's up now 21-7, and you would think that that's a pretty substantial lead, but somehow they lose that lead as Garner scores 14 points in the fourth quarter, and even though they get a touchdown here and a two-point conversion, it was not enough. EKU falls on the road 35-32.